Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, today I got a little project here I got to do real quick. Um, it's got to do with my catfish pond here. I know it's a couple days here. It's the catfish been swimming up on top of the water there, like they don't have enough oxygen. And I'm just going to turn you around here and show you what it looks like. And it's kind of getting worse. And uh, so I'm going to try to uh, put me a little pump in the water, maybe try to aerate it a little bit get some uh maybe some more oxygen in the water i'm not really sure what's going on but i did have one catfish die and i'm not really sure right now if it's because of the low oxygen or if something actually one of them um, cranes actually because i have a lot of those getting around my pun too might have tapped it in the head because it's floating on top of water trying to get oxygen and that killed it but um regardless uh I've got a little oxygen issue going on here and a little, um, I don't know if you call it algae problem or not, but the top of my water, you can see it, it's starting to turn like a, it's got a film across the top of it. And uh, I'm not really sure what's causing that. And uh, I don't want to lose all my catfish. So um, I'm going to uh, put a pump in there and see if I can just get some water circulating. Maybe put some more oxygen in the water. Hopefully that'll take care of the, uh, problem i'm seeing here um i don't know if y'all can see this or not uh, right over yonder there's a catfish right there at the top of the water he's kind of sitting there you know trying to get oxygen there i don't see no more right now but i've noticed the pun's getting worse so i gotta do something about it now the only thing i know to do is uh, try to get it uh, aerated some way so what i'm gonna do y'all is uh i went to uh, town i went to harbor freight tools and i bought this uh drumming one quarter horsepower submersible sump pump and what i had here um let me see uh, it's probably about two years old this uh transfer pump right here uh i had it hooked up and uh it does not want to work now i tried that out yesterday when i first got my little catfish uh, about two years ago i guess I used a little pump here and for a little while and I kept it covered up and uh, I don't know it's it was frozen and I got it uh, unfroze and anyway I took it apart kind of seeing what's going on and I just can't get the thing pump water so that's why I had to go buy this in here and uh, so hopefully this here uh, uh, maybe work here I mean I'm not really sure what's going on to be honest with you I'm just gonna try this and it says 3,000 gallons uh, per hour. So uh, it's a one and one half inch uh, threads right here. So I got about this coupling, and this uh, reducer to a three quarter inch. I'm gonna put a three quarter inch pipe in this. And uh, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it hooked up. And uh, when I get hooked up and get it going, I'll bring y'all back and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. And, I cross my fingers y'all hopefully it'll take care of my problem maybe the fish won't die if if they do you know i'm gonna hate that because of the money you know i spent on all the fish and everything like that and plus um, the all the feed and everything but like i say uh we just so hope this pump here uh get that water stirring up because really really just uh most time i've noticed this happens when the water becomes what i call stagnant where you don't get a lot of rainfall in between. It might be, you know, weeks and weeks. Sometime in the summer months, they'll do this. But uh, uh, it hasn't done this in a, a good while like this. So I'm going to just, you know, see what happens there. So I'll bring y'all back whenever I get it uh, hooked up. All right, y'all, here's this pump running. Uh, I just tied it up on the back of my track here on this uh, boom lift right here. And just got that done in the water there and uh, I tied that float up right there so it'll cut on. I see that there. Nothing fancy anything, just something there to get it get some uh, circulation in this water. Maybe this will help this out and get some oxygen going, get some of this uh y'all can kinda see out there that green right out in there. Um, algae or whatever it is right there trying to you know form on top of the water. And uh so maybe you know I've caught it in time where I'm um, a fish, you know, like I say, to make it and everything. But anyway, y'all, I um, just want to show y'all what I was doing today. And, uh, this pump here, it's not, you know, it's not a fountain pump. 
is not meant for a pun, so I'm not suggesting y'all go get a, you know, like a submersible pump like I got there. But it's something I have to get day quick and uh, what I had available to me. So hopefully it'll last a while. I'm just going to run it a couple hours and unplug it. Then uh, plug it back up, you know, later on in the day. Just do it like that a couple times a day, three, four times a day. Uh, see if I can get some of this uh, algae and stuff kind of uh, moved out of the way there maybe a little bit. Maybe keep them fish uh, a little bit more healthy there. Like I said, I don't know what caused that one fish to die. But uh, anyway, when I start seeing fish die like that, you know, and I start seeing the pun start changing like that, you know, that's a concern to me. So I want to do something, you know, be a little bit proactive about it instead of waiting until, you know, something worse happens like all my fish die. We definitely don't want that to happen. But anyway, y'all, I uh, appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate y'all watching the video. If you got any comments, any suggestions, I, I appreciate it. If you ever had anything like that happen, yours, what did you do to yours? I have put a, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's to kill algae and stuff on top of the pond. I got a video on it. And uh, if it gets worse, I'll probably put a little bit of that in there. Just see if I can clear some of that off top of water. Right now, I don't really want to put that in there. I just want to try to get some circulation. I believe most of this probably just because of lack of rain and uh, just a hot summer. Uh, I figure that's what it is. Another thing, y'all, I haven't been feeding fish past three days. Uh, I've been feeding them, uh, you know, every day, and I started thinking, well, maybe I'm putting a little bit too much food or something like that. Maybe it's, it's creating a little algae or something in my pond. But anyway, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming along and appreciate y'all watching. As always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.